In this video, we're diving into one of the most exciting features of Svelte 5, reactivity with runes. If you've been using Svelte for a while, you might know that reactivity is at the core of what makes Svelte so powerful. But in Svelte 5, reactivity has been reimagined with a new system called runes. Runes make reactivity more explicit, flexible, and easier to understand. By the end of this video, you'll know how to use runes to declare reactive state, create computed values, and write reactive statements. But before we jump into reactivity, let's start with the basics, simple statements. Simple statements are just regular JavaScript code that runs once when your component is initialized. They don't automatically rerun when data changes, they're just plain old JavaScript. For example, let's say we have a variable called message that holds the string hello world. We can log this message to the console when the component is created. In this example, message is a regular variable. It doesn't change unless we explicitly update it. The console.log statement runs only once when the component is created. We can also use these variables in the template by wrapping these variables inside curly braces. This way, we can display the values of the variables inside the template. Now run the app. We can see the message displayed here. And if we open the console, the message is also printed here. Simple statements like this are great for initializing data, setting up constants, or performing one-time calculations. But what if we want our data to be reactive? That's where runes come in. Let's talk about reactive states. In Svelte 5, you declare reactive state using the state rune. It is written with the dollar sign. The state rune marks a variable as reactive, meaning Svelte will automatically track changes to it and update the DOM whenever the value changes. Here's an example. Let's create a reactive variable called count and initialize it to zero. Then we'll add a button. Here, we'll use on click attribute and pass it anonymous method which performs the increment to count variable. This on click attribute will run this method every time button is clicked. After it, we used paragraph to display the value of count. Now run the app. Button and paragraph are displaying. If we press the increment button, the value of count variable is incremented by one and state of the variable also updates in UI. In this example, count is a reactive variable. When the button is clicked, count is increment and the DOM automatically updates to reflect the new value. The state rune ensures that Svelte tracks changes to count and re-renders the component when it changes. One of the biggest advantages of state is that it makes reactivity explicit. In Svelte 4, reactivity was implicit, meaning Svelte would automatically make variables reactive based on how you use them. But in Svelte 5, you explicitly declare reactive state using state, which makes your code easier to understand and debug. Now that we know how to declare reactive state, let's talk about side effects. Side effects are actions that happen in response to changes in your reactive state, like logging to the console, fetching data, or manipulating the DOM. In Svelte 5, you handle side effects using the dollar effect rune. For example, let's say we want to log the value of count every time it changes. For that, we'll use effect rune, and inside it, we'll create a method which logs the count value. This method will run every time the value of count changes. Now run the program. Open the console. Now when we click on the increment button, updated value of count is automatically printed in the console. In this example, the effect rune creates a side effect that runs whenever count changes. It logs the new value of count to the console. The effect rune automatically tracks its dependencies, so it knows when to rerun. One important thing to note is that effect runs after the DOM has been updated. This makes it perfect for side effects that depend on the updated state or DOM. Next up, let's talk about computed values. Computed values are values that depend on other reactive state. In Svelte 5, you create computed values using the derived rune. The derived rune ensures that the computed value is automatically recalculated whenever its dependencies change. For example, let's say we have a reactive variable count and we want to create a computed value called double count that always holds the value of count multiplied by 2. Now run the app. 
Now if we click the button, the value of count updates and the value of double count variable get multiplied by 2. In this example, double count is a computed value that depends on count. Whenever count changes, double count is automatically recalculated. Computed values are read-only, meaning you can't directly assign a value to double count. It's derived from count. Computed values are a great way to keep your logic clean and avoid redundant calculations. Svelte also optimizes computed values to ensure they're only recalculated when necessary, which makes them very efficient. Finally, let's talk about state updates. Updating reactive state in Svelte 5 is straightforward. When you update a reactive state variable, Svelte automatically triggers reactivity and updates the DOM. For example, let's add a reset function to our counter component. This function will set count back to zero when called. Then create a new button and call reset function on button click. Now run the app. Now click on increment button. Count and double count values are updated. Now if we click the reset button, the value of both variables gets reset to zero. In this example, the reset function updates the count state to zero. Since count is reactive, the DOM updates to reflect the new value. State updates can be triggered by user interactions, timers, or asynchronous operations. Svelte also batches multiple state updates for better performance, so you don't have to worry about unnecessary re-renders. Now that we've covered the basics, let's see how we can combine state, derived, and effect runes to build more complex reactive logic. Here's an example that ties everything together. In this example, we have a reactive state variable count, a computed value double count, and a side effect that logs both values whenever they change. We also have two functions, one to increment the count and second to reset it. Then we have two buttons, one for increment and other for reset. In these buttons, we called both increment and reset functions. Next, we have paragraphs to display the values of count and double count variables. Now run the app. Open console. Now click on increment button. Values are updating in paragraphs as well as in the console. Now if we click on reset button, values reset to zero. This is a good example of how you can combine runes to build powerful and reactive components. We've covered everything you need to know about reactivity with runes in Svelte 5. You learned how to declare reactive state with state, handle side effects with effect, compute derived values with derived, and update state to trigger reactivity. Runes make reactivity in Svelte 5 more explicit and flexible, and I'm really excited to see how you'll use them in your projects. With this, Runes section is complete.